Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be trying to light a cigarette with only the heat from the flame of the lighter. Apparently, this is supposed to give you like the purest tobacco taste possible. And I want that taste. But this is actually something I've never done before. I always directly light my cigarettes with the flame for my lighter just because, honestly, it's easier. This is probably going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass to get all lit up. But I'm going to be trying to do it in today's video nonetheless. And I'm going to be attempting to let you guys know whether lighting your cigarette with the heat from the lighter, not from the flame itself, actually has a significant effect on the taste of the cigarette or not. Today, for this little bit of an experiment, I'm going to be using a Hope Original cigarette from Japan. And for the lighter I'm gonna be using today, I'm just gonna be using my classic black Bic lighter, you know what I'm saying? But I do think without further ado, let's go ahead and get this pack of cigarettes all opened up. Let's go ahead and get one of them out, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get one of them out. And it is a little bit windy today, so I'm thinking this is gonna be a little bit of a struggle, but I'm gonna be trying. I'm gonna be trying to do this nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be trying to do this nonetheless. But without further ado, let's go ahead and I guess try to start lighting it with the heat from my lighter. I'm not exactly sure, honestly, how to do this. Like, do I just hold it like that kind of thing and I just keep holding it like that? This seems like something you should probably do indoors, but I'm right next to a, a river where all the wind is sweeping across and just hitting me in the side kind of thing. Yeah, this is definitely not the best spot to do this experiment, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But let's just make sure that that flame does not touch. I'm gonna try not to puff the cigarette at all because then I'm just gonna draw some of the flame through. I'm gonna draw some of the lighter fluid through and that's just gonna ruin the experiment. So I've gotta be very, very, very careful, that is for sure. But let's just go ahead and just get this a little bit closer, I think. If the flame hits it once or twice, that's perfectly fine. As long as I'm not drawing anything through, I think. That's not... I'm like, the tip of the cigarette is getting warmer, but my lighter is getting a lot warmer than the tip of my cigarette. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to do this. I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to do this. Are you supposed to actually put it directly in the flame, just not take any puffs so the lighter fluid doesn't come through? I'm not exactly sure in all honesty. I've never done this before. I didn't watch any tutorials or anything like that kind of thing. This is what you're supposed to do with cigars. And what I typically do with cigars is I put the flame directly on there kind of thing because I'm like, I don't know how to do this kind of thing. So I figured a good starting point would be to use a cigarette, but I'm, I'm still struggling. I'm still struggling, you know what I'm saying? Let's go and try this again though. Oh, I just hit the flame a little bit kind of thing. Well, the paper is definitely getting singed. The paper is definitely getting singed, that is for sure, man. Somebody's got their boat going and they're just, they're just, they're just hanging out behind the boat, doing the whole like getting pulled by the boat and everything like that kind of thing. It's currently like 50 degrees out here today. The water's probably like, I don't know, 40 degrees. I wouldn't want to do that right now. He is in a dry suit, I'm pretty sure. I still wouldn't want to do that. I still, no, still too cold, you know what I'm saying? Still too cold, man. And yeah, now we're getting now we're getting the waves from them and everything like that kind of thing. But I'm not ex sure exactly sure how to do this. I, I singed the paper a little bit. The tobacco is maybe a little bit singed, but that's because of the flame, not because of the heat. I know I'm looking like a little bit of a fool right now. Not that I don't usually do look like a fool, but um, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how how this can work. In all honesty. Let's see. I might just have to stick it right in the flame, just not draw through and try to get it lit up that way. That might be what I need to do, or maybe I need to retro, maybe I need to exhale through the cigarette while I'm trying to light it, because then that'll still light it, but I won't get any of the draw through. Maybe that's what I need to do. I'm not exactly sure, but man, these waves are coming, y'all. These waves, look at that, y'all. Look at that, these waves are coming. Man, man, and they're like splashing over there and creating pretty. Pretty big splashes, I ain't gonna lie. Oh man, these waves are certainly going, that is for sure. Distracting me just a little bit, that is for sure. But, I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to get this going. Huh. I'm pretty sure 
I've probably just got the wrong setting. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm probably just not supposed to do this outside. I think I should probably be doing this inside if I'm going to do it anywhere. Because uh, definitely lighting your cigarettes outside, especially with a little bit of wind, a little bit of a pain, that is for sure. Uh, even when you're trying to light your cigarettes normally, especially when you're trying to light your cigarettes with only the heat from a lighter, not the actual flame itself. Try this again. And then it just went out. Yeah. Nothing. Hmm. This is a little bit more difficult than I was thinking. I expected it to kind of be a pain, but I didn't expect it to just be kind of this weird. I'm just going to try to get it lit up with the flame, but not draw through so I don't draw through any of that lighter fluid, or maybe I'll retrohale. Okay, well that worked. To be expected. I didn't inhale once until I turned off the lighter and everything like that kind of thing. I just held it in the flame and I retrohaled, or I guess retrohaled because that's that's when you're that's that's when you're blowing smoke out through your nose. So I just exhaled through the that's what it is. I exhaled through the cigarette. That's what it was kind of thing. That's the right way of putting it. But overall, right off the bat, I might have not lit a cigarette with the heat from a lighter. I think that might be a little bit of a challenge today. I ain't gonna lie on a challenge that I'm not gonna be able to accomplish. But lighting a cigarette without drawing any of the lighter fluid out of through it at all kind of thing, or any of the lighter fluid from the flame or anything like that through the cigarette, you get no chemical taste. No chemical taste at the beginning right there. Does it significantly affect the taste of the cigarette. Yeah, yeah, no, it definitely does. Just not drawing the lighter fluid does through definitely does significantly affect the taste of the cigarette for the first couple hits at least. I doubt it really affects it for the um, for, for the later part of the cigarette. Like once we get like probably five, six hits in, I don't think that the lighter fluid taste would affect it even if I did light my cigarette normally. Um, but, but for the first couple hits, they're definitely a little bit more pleasant than I'm used to, that is for sure. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, very sweet, nice tobacco taste with a little bit of harshness in there kind of thing. Exactly what I can have, have come to expect from a Hope original. No complaints on my behalf, but with absolutely no chemical taste from the lighter. That's honestly really pleasant. Wow. Interesting. I don't think I'm gonna light my cigarettes like this normally. It's just a little bit more of a pain in the ass than not. And I'm just used to lighting my cigarettes the way I do, so I'm probably just gonna continue doing that. Uh, the, the, the taste dissipates in the first, uh, without, but the taste dissipates after the first couple hits anyway. So I don't really think it matters all that much. But if you really do want the full taste of the cigarette, without any lighter fluid taste, without any match taste or anything like that kind of thing, without any sort of light taste, like lighter taste at all kind of thing, definitely do this. Uh, I, I do suppose probably the better way to do this though is to um, use a, a car cigarette lighter. That doesn't, that's just, that's just heating up your cigarette kind of thing. That's essentially what I did today is just not draw any lighter fluid through or anything like that kind of thing. And that's what a car cigarette lighter does or does normally. So just use one of those. It's definitely a lot easier, that is for sure. But this is a good alternative to that. This is a good alternative to that. And the cigarette tastes amazing. No chemical taste coming through for my lighter at all. Huh. No complaints on my behalf. To be expected, I suppose. It's not really something that is completely unexpected, but still, it's a good experience. Yeah. No complaints on my behalf, y'all. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Man, and not bad at all. Not bad at all if I do say so myself. And I will admit, maybe the taste is coming through a little bit more purely throughout the cigarette. I don't want to say that for sure. I don't want to say that for sure. I'd have to smoke one of these specific cigarettes back to back, light one normally, light one the way I just lit it, and really find out then. So I don't want to say anything for sure, but I do feel like the cigarette tastes a little bit better overall. Hmm. I do wonder. I do wonder. Makes me think. 
It makes me think that is for sure. Let me know in the comments down below what y'all's opinion is. Is Does it really have that big of an effect, or does it not really matter after the first couple hits? Huh. Interesting. Well, I certainly can't complain. I certainly can't complain, that is for sure. I'm smoking a cigarette right now with no chemical taste, with a beautiful view, absolutely beautiful view. Y'all got a beautiful view too, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Man, oh man. It's a good time. It's a good time, that is for sure. Enjoying my time out here, you know what I'm saying? And I'm certainly enjoying my cigarette, that is for sure. Well, I don't really think I have anything else to say. Overall, what are my final thoughts on this experience? My final thoughts on this experience are honestly pretty simple. Uh, it's it's pretty good. It's a pretty 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 good experience. I do this again. Yeah, no, one hundred percent. A little bit of a pain, more so than not than lighting a cigarette normally. But if you feel like the lack of a chemical taste is worth going through that pain, then one hundred percent do it every single time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't I don't really care all that much. <laughs> in all honesty, this is this is nice to do every once in a while, and I'm definitely going to do this again. Um, but for my normal just smoking routine kind of thing where I just go on a walk and I smoke or I, I'm just sitting on my porch and I'm just gonna have a smoke kind of thing, then uh, I, I can't see myself doing this. I can't see myself doing this on a super routine basis, maybe at max like once or twice a day kind of thing. Probably less than that. Probably just when I have a special cigarette I really wanna smoke and I really don't wanna get any taste come through or nothing like that kind of thing. Yeah, I can't see myself really doing this again in all honesty, but or I can't see myself doing this again on any consistent basis, let me put it that way. But it's just, it, it is a good experience nonetheless. It's just a little bit more of a pain than not. And that's really why I'm saying that. Well, though, I can definitely taste the filter right there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stub out this cigarette. I'm going to go and make sure the ash is all out on the ground and everything like that kind of thing. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and put my butt in my little portable ashtray right here, you know what I'm saying? There we go, certainly no complaints on my behalf. Let's go and close that up. Let's go ahead and get it buttoned. There we go, certainly no complaints on my behalf. And next time I see a smoking area, I'm gonna go and dump my cigarette in that, you know what I'm saying? But I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video where I lit a cigarette without drawing any lighter fluid through. I tried to use the heat from the cigarette to light, or I tried to use the heat from the cigarette <laughs> I tried to use the heat from the lighter to light my cigarette. That didn't really work though. So I just ended up exhaling through the cigarette to light it, which honestly worked pretty well. I ain't gonna lie on. I really did not get any chemical taste at all from the lighter. No complaints on my behalf. This is not something I do on a consistent basis again, but it's definitely something that I would do again, that is for sure. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying?